YouTube, it's me, Joe, and I'm back with another reaction. And we're back with 40K. What the fuck happened last episode? Has, okay, so from what I read through my lore reading and your comments, the Star Child is a fragment of the Emperor's psyche that split off once, once the Horus Heresy was destroyed, was done after the Emperor died. So now he has become part of Fyodor Karamazov, so technically Fyodor Karamazov is now part of the Emperor and is the Emperor. <laughs> oh. This is such a shame the series had to be stopped. Oh. Anyway, we're here to watch this. We're here to do this. And I'm close to 3,000 subscribers. What the fuck? Okay, three, two, oh, quick little side note beforehand, two things. Number one, make sure you like and subscribe, turn on notifications, and follow me on all my social media down below in the description, and also, oh shit, what was I about to, God, I had it in my head I was about to ask, uh, shit, oh well, whatever, well, let's just get this video started, three, two, one, and play. Oh yeah, that's right. This video is going to be cut in half for some reason because it's 46 minutes long and I my camera can only handle 30 minutes of recording. So I'll be cutting off around the 25 minute mark. Just letting you guys know. Alright. Okay, so yeah. Battle's over. Victory. It has begun. Boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Oh boy. Father, your senseless babbling is making me worry for your health. Perhaps you were a bit too generous in the anesthetics, Lord Adorable. I never babble. I am never senseless, and you should do nothing but worry about my health. Then please, start giving context to this cryptic rambling. You are a spoiled little shit, Rogel. Calling excrement spoiled is redundant. I also do not believe I am excrement. Unless you have been keeping some truly awful secret about our inception. <laughs> Oh, shit. Sun creature, do you remember when the unbound armies of the Inquisition stomped with their frilly little gumboots right into my imperial palace, under what I have a hard time calling the leadership of one Fyodor Karamazov? Yes. Hot stuff said them all to the war, as far as I recall. Do not salivate over my son in the open, please. <laughs> Nevertheless, you are correct. Magni Magic cast circa 68.8% of the Inquisition into the Immaterium. <laughs> a big win for the Imperium, no doubt. There was truly <coughs> no particular need for a supervisory force dedicated to the safekeeping of mankind's life force. Before you go and skewer the remainder of your basic human decency by becoming an apologetic for the fucking Inquisition, hold on to your airy stained memory caskets. For the Inquisition has returned from the warp. What? That is rather shocking. <laughs> and with them is also your brother, Lee Men Russ. Oh, no. oh, oh I say. How do you know this, Father? Have you had a vision? I am having one as we speak. What is happening? This is no prank, is it? I am extremely perplexed and confused and redundant. I can show you. It's the court boy. The court wow. boy! Wow! Would you look at that? It truly is him. My brother. Lehman. That stubborn wolf breed yet lives. Did you really think anything less? Of course not. But I am immensely happy to see it confirmed before my eyes. Good save. I was just about to take personal offense. Now, prepare your peepers. We shall follow all men and the Inquisition's process from this first-person perspective. Albeit muddled, we should get an idea of how they fare. Say, whose perspective are we seeing this from? Mine. Or, rather, Fyodor Karamazov's. Both? How is that possible? You will see. Have you planted yourself in his brain? Sort of. Can you really fit? Quiet. I hope it's snug. Damn it. Shut up! You are the wo 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 worst. Can you put me in Magnus' break? No! Immediate restraining order. Strength is not part of my vocabulary. Neither is it <laughs> and respectability. Now shut your face before I send your entire upper half of the warp for someone on one with that right screaming billy goat on the screen. 
Yes, my son. As it is, as it were. I think I have proven my abilities. I... I'm... My gold. That hellity. What happened? Is it... Is it really true? Is this ragged and terrible format will kill me? But... We have no time to settle. Lehman is having an existential crisis. It's just how long this barrier will remain. Yes. Good call. You there, ovular one. What do your wee angry eyes see at the end of this passage? It's hard to say, but there is an unidentified light source coming from the end of this passage. It's very bright. Are we gonna run into oh, any more primars? Maybe kill a man Don't sound so nervous, Canonus. No matter where it leads, it could not possibly be more treacherous than the wall. Onward, soldiers, for glory! That be! That be! A triprismic dimensional mirror key to the center of a sun. Oh shit! Oh, sun! Read it! How did you know? I found it on page 50 of this unpleasant record you threw at me. Oh, that's all the knockout, huh? You mean to say that they are in Homer? Oh, yes, that is that. Wait a minute, is that supposed to be for Chagatai's house? Oh, no! For the great snailing song at the end of the godforsaken catacomb! My teeth are melting! Ah, oh, this is proper now. The In weakness, leaving the body! What body? Oh, Scions, come! You will be fine. What? Just just walk us off, Sonny. <laughs> Sonny. <laughs> we have fun here. Yeah, I'm still alive. How did that happen? Oh, my lordy, lordy, lord! Is that the emperor of mankind? With a beard? It really does seem like it is. Fucking Nura! Oh, <laughs> as sweet as you are, pleasantries must be set aside for now. We shall be venturing forward, but heed, my children. We do not yet know where we have ended up, and I must warn you. I can sense the quivers of dark hearts in the shadows, beating with malevolence, fatalism, deluxe. What is this place? Uh, looks like the underhive of an underhive. <laughs> an under underhive. Definitely Kamarag. Ah, 
thoughtful hosts have set up a sign for potential visitors. Through the warp gate! Built in the street, they call it murder! Yeah. What is this theme? Do those Dark Eldar carry? Looks like they are packing the entirety of the Dark Elder's abhorrent arsenal. <laughs> Analyzing their weaponry to judge the bearded triumvirate's survival chances. The bearded will be triumvirate! <laughs> and here, finally, we have it Eternity Gate! Past its most reverent door frame. The corporeal vessel of the man emperor himself sits upon his throne, an anchor from which stretches his all encompassing. The hell? Here. <laughs> Read this detestable list, child. Yes. It offends my hypothetical lies. This is the very reason for my existence. Read it aloud for the people in the back. Uh, the Drukhari's arsenal consists of dark lances, agonizers, electro-corrosive whips, flesh gauntlets, chain flails, scissor hands, husk blades, hell glaives, punishers, stingers, destructors, crucibles of maledictions, combat drugs, gruesome talismans, hell masks, shadow fields. <sighs> Terror vexes, horror vexes, tormentor helms, masks of the damned, goblets of spite, charred garbans, splinter rifles, nightmare dolls, archangels of pain, torture amps, xenospasms, murder dick shooters, and by Macarius' saggy marble sack, could these weapon names be any more childishly grim? Had a boy. I hope Lehman can make it through this with naught but his sword. Sword of Veil Knight and Scorn Spitter? Do you reckon you would with your Storm's Teeth? <laughs> Quiet, something is happening. Quiet, something is happening. God, could you, Dark Eldar, be any more edgy? Yahar, human slime! Whoa, whoa! Hold your fire, you knuckle dragon Monkai barbarians! What is it doing? It is trying to speak to them. Mistake number one. <laughs> yeah, you are utterly surrounded, haha. -ha. You and the weak, pathetic, subsentient worms that constitute your ground forces have no hope for victory at this juncture. Should you decide to resort to violence? <laughs> we have resorted to violence. <laughs> Wait a minute! Wait a minute! Ah, get off! Get off! Ah, get this oversized! Oh my face! Oh my face! Warriors! Women uh, hold, if you will. These Dark Eldar are acting a typical for their race, aren't they? Uh, oh, sorry, do you prefer Drukhari? I've heard it said both ways. Well, well actually, I can explain to you. Actually, we didn't come to fight you, just actually, if you just. Ah! How I have missed Lehman. My brain is horrified! Do you know what? Given the soul-crushing amount of arbitrary deaths decent people die for no reason in this galaxy, it is surprisingly refreshing to see it happen firsthand to someone who absolutely deserves it. You know what, yeah? The catchers are gone, obviously. Standard Eldar strategy! They hold the catchers without the fight! 
have I died and gone to murder heaven? That Deldar didn't die as instantly as I would have thought. Deldar? Tanky little bugger, did he? Lehman, I don't want to act all pushy, but we cannot afford to act hastily and endanger our pilgrimage to Terra. Hold on. Lord Fyodor, what exactly are you trying to imply here? Heed my word. I am not saying we trust these alien scum in any capacity. Uh, no offense! Ah, none taken, dope face. For now, we should hear what they have to say. Wow. Yeah. What? Uh, you can't oh, wow. Be yeah, wow. So deep into enemy territory, surrounded by hideous Xenos abominations. Oh, I knew it was too good to be true. We have been played by the Crimson Demon. This is the behavior of a heretic. 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 Being viciously tortured in a homunculi Coven's flesh laboratories? Yes, put me down for 20 throws. I do not understand anything that is happening. I'll take that bet. Let's do it. is convulsing irregularly. Heretic! Heretic! I have an opinion, so shut your mouth! Who are you? Oh, well, would you look at that? Ex-Inquisitor Cryptman! Well, on the subject of heresy! My Thank opinion you. is straight lace, self strangulating, sheepling, slapping heresy on anything even halfway logical is what brought us into this mess in the first place. Maybe taking two seconds to consider options that aren't purge these, cleanse that, and burn, burn, burn might prove beneficial. Even if you. No wonder you're an ex Inquisitor. Ah, greetings, Crookman. Hello, Field. Nice hair. Uh, wow! Well, thank you! I grew it myself somehow. <laughs> I like this crypt man, man. Oh no! You should not. He committed the largest genocide since the Horus Heresy in his efforts to repeal the Tyranids. He was exiled from the Inquisition for being too cruel. I am sure it was nothing personal and totally necessary in the end. Yes, no! My lord, you can just retract your statement about liking him. I never err in my judgments, you flabby cock carpet. I am sure he is a very rational and sympathetic individual. Oh, too oh, cruel! Look at you you were exiled from being too cruel! Incarnate. Next, you're gonna start saying your policy led to an inexcusable loss of human life! <laughs> Inquisitor Toddler on the ground is wrong. If anything, I feel the judgment of the Inquisition has been a bit of an underachiever in the areas of planetary devastation and other forms of healthy, constructive mass murder. I agree with Inquisitor Sunglasses. On, what have we here? Another of your irrational carnage cronies, Alfeodor? While I have the utmost respect for you, Lord Ross. I resent two-thirds of the things that just came out of your mouth. I am very rational and independent with my mass murder. It's why when I heard of all the radical reformist potwash coming out of Terra, I immediately knew something was amiss and decided to sneak along despite my... retirement. But you had not noticed Trey, what are you now doing? only highlights your incompetence. I noticed! You do not count. Alright! Now then, Xenos, we need another one of you spiky reprobates to deliver us your commands. Well, since you asked so nicely, well, it's surprisingly straightforward. I doubt that. Lord Vect was elected the moment you triggered our defense systems. To be honest, we were sort of expecting an ensemble horde of demons when the gate broke. We're pretty stoked about murder boning a bunch of temporal thought forms in the eyeballs. You're stoked by this. Well, uh, well, 
I mean, I can't speak for everyone. Uh, Jabarian? Were you stoked? Hell yeah, my main Melf. I was pretty stoked. Uh, Vestily? How about you? Yeah, I mean, I, I get demons, I get them, but really, I wouldn't come in a walk right today, you know? I, I, I get bleeding types, you feel me? Yeah, no, nah, I feel that, I feel that. So yeah, okay, I'd say most of us were reasonably stoked about it. 75, 75% of us seems fair. I'm not gonna get them to raise their hands or anything. And, and you wanted to talk with these quote-unquote people? You know, I actually don't feel bad about Hell. this guy. Fucking demons aside, Supreme Overlord Vect has given us strict orders not to kill you and bring you to him for an audience. So, you take us back to your presumably quite slippery master? And then what? We're all re and de castrated for the rest of eternity? Pardon my centillion. I am really sorry, but I am not seeing much reason to take you at your word. Well, not all of you. Just you, Chair Bonkai. The rest of your forces will have to... wait while Lord Vect parlays with you. Oh, Emperor, please, no. And where would they be waiting, exactly? The arena, of course! You'll all be fighting to the death! It will be quite the spectacle! Come the fuck on! In fact, what's a word with you and you expect us to immediately slaughter you wholesale? Yes. 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 Well, the police are fibulous. Yes. You must think we've all contracted nerd like hypercephalus to be mad enough to trust an ill begotten ilk. Elder would never miss an opportunity to cause pain, mayhem, and suffering. Hey, you've got to be 13 wolves that gullible to their certain good intentions from even a single one of their honeyed words. Please like to live, really. An audience for always euphemisms for torture horribly for eons and eons. Good, it tickles me really. To your lot. If this isn't a trap, I'm gonna buy an entire living cat and not eat it. I would be tempted to agree. Dealing with the Eldar is a very fickle prospect. They are prone to acting in ways that are countercurrent to their own self-interest, making you think that they think that they're deceiving you, when in reality, they're being completely honest and counting on the fact that you think that they're lying to you so that you'll completely discount the truth as the truth. What was it that the single- I don't even- say? Exactly! They engage in exasperating mental gymnastics like this all the time. That's why I prefer hunting tyrannids. They don't waste my time with all these... these Fair enough. Sins. So, what say you, Crippman? Should we stay or should we go? If I am being completely and thoroughly honest, I just wanted to stop the trigger-happy amateur hour from discounting our leadership for considering a slightly unorthodox position. Ultimately, the decision rests with you, Theodor. Either way, we're probably all, in Eldar terms, bored. I respect your candor, Crippen. I think, with all things considered at the moment, our best course of action is... Hmm. Drink very carefully, Theodor. The consequences of your decision could see everything we fought for go up in smoke. I do not see much of a choice in this. What do you reckon, Normal? If I know my brother, they will fight to the death. None but the likes of Faba could persuade him to do anything yeah. else. They would not survive that. As stated in these filthy magazines you called Ark Eldar Codexes, Kimura is not your run of the mills he knows home world. an impossible dimension in the depths of the webway, able to house an entire star system's worth of these walking, talking spike maps. Oh crap! What different avenues name monolithic super slum, vast collections of morbid satellite realms, that are, in reality, thousands of light years apart, are permanently shackled with through shimmering dimensional shortcuts. Its streets are an ever-changing clusterfuck of flesh halls, venom canals, and gravity-defying spires, all cobbled together on a scale incomprehensible to human minds. 
while the sweat goblins of Kimura can navigate this bristling tomb around the webway themselves. Our bearded triumvirate and their inquisitorial compatriots cannot hope to survive by simply fighting through it. Oof. They all may carry the will damned if they do, damned if they don't. The war, but surviving the physical horrors of Kimura is another pain regimen entirely. But, but, did I kill no dragons? Just able to detonate his son. But I saw him defeat Magnus the Red effortlessly in a single bar of motion. How could these deviant tars possibly pose a challenge to not only him, but Lumen Russ as well? In addition to the Dark Eldar being marginally more intelligent than a celestial entity, and certainly more cunning than my baby Magnus, in the midst of a temper tantrum, you are not only forgetting that Calder Drago decidedly brandishes the brain power of a rock, but also the population dynamics required for such a thought mark quasi realm to exist in the first place. Could you clarify, my lord? My mind is at last pain slowly cracking. You see, my uninformed companion. The Dark City is not simply the capital world of the Dark Eldar. Rather, it is a location where in almost every single Dark Eldar barring comparative small exiled populations live and operate. As such, even though the Dark Eldar are likely one of the most numerically inferior races in the galaxy, banding together in such a manner makes Kimura more or less an unbreakable fortress that no one can really deal with. In fact, the only successful invasions of Kimura have either been... one. Extremely short with a single, limited golden mine. 2. Hilariously karma demon intrusions that generally exist to ruin one guy in particular's brain. Or 3. Assaults that are, unknown to the invaders themselves, pre-planned and invisibly coordinated by the Dark Eldar in order to murder potential political and military opponents without actually getting their shitty little claws dirty. So really, the only way to invade the Dark Eldar Kar Karag is to work with the Dark Eldar. The primary goal was to eliminate their rays, mustering the resources necessary to level Kamora would leave the Empyrean critically open to its numerous other aggressors. Even in the best yeah, case scenario, it would certainly be more trouble and is worth. Oh, then. Their escape from the material was for naught. The Wolf King's return is not a return at all. I do not like this situation. No. Do not worry your tiny little skulls. Komora may be unbreakable playing by our rules. But fortunately for us, things are going just as. Oh. Uh. And on that, we're going to take a quick little stop right here so I can, like, reset. So, uh, one moment there. 26.04. Alright. And we're back. And, oh, going just as planned. Three, two, one, play. I have come... To a decision. So what are you gonna do? And it what are you gonna do? We will extremely, yeah. terribly, horribly, painful. Follow them. Oh, oh, oh. All right, you good for nothing, Dungus. Listen up. You heard that man. Not sure why I'm unconditionally agreeing to this, but I'm temporarily not murdering the Eldar. We will potentially them later for safe passage. And if he refuses, or all the life splits is over, we will summarily show them the might of Imperial Steel. So, like, <laughs> I'm actually going to have to be the straight man here and pointing out how bad this idea is. It feels... Oh, oh it's a terrible... This is the Dark Elder we're Both talking about. options are terrible ideas. But I'd relax just the tiny itty little bitty 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 tiny bitty 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 There's a reasonable precedent for this sort of thing. There is. There is. There is. Well, there is. rumor has it that the Cult Mechanicus sometimes hires Dark Eldar to help prepare the Golden Throne. Oh, that should be good. I am rather confused. Why would As you I. and the Inquisition agree to this without violent interjections? As I said, things are going exactly as planned. Planned. Care to tell us what this plan is? You are watching the plan unfold. I do not see a plan. I only see uh, no. terrible decisions being made. This plan is entirely yeah. based on terrible decisions being made. 
I am confused. Welcome to the club. <laughs> I am the head. You see, my boy, a certain group of Eldar are having a bit of a birthday party planned. A divine birth ousted from copious amounts of dead souls, ironically. Seeing as I am a connoisseur of all things soul slattered and skull covered, I figured I would have someone representing Yoros Trulego snatch up the title of Emissary for this up and coming birthday god. It is only my right. Ho 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 you know, terrifying Wolfman, I'm surprised you took us up on that offer. I assure you, trusting us, the Dark Eldar, is a decision that will not bite you in the ass immediately. I might be pretty sure it will in some capacity. But luckily for me, yeah! if you try any of your hallmarked to Carly Goat Drivel, or close personal friend Calder Drago, just ain't a son. If we ask him nicely, he could spit it right back out for us. I think we should help the poor boy! Oh! Wow! Oh, wow is very right. Fair enough, you have the ultimate weapon of Kaldor Drago. <laughs> now what? <laughs> Clown speak. <laughs> Clown speak sounds surprisingly French. C'est la vie. <laughs> what is it, Darrell? I trust there is a very good reason for you interrupting me during my uh, private hours. My lady, I would never seek to interrupt your you time unless it was most urgent. No, you would not. Otherwise, you would wind up back on the shopping block faster than you can name off our super and ridiculous support options. Um, I am so glad subtitles are a thing. What else? Uh, the days of destruction doesn't really count. Daryl, my news. Yes, of course. Though I warn you, it is dire, my lady. According to our spies, Kane's gate has at last been breached. What? <coughs> what? That Ben Shadvect actually did it? I mean, I kind of thought you would, but small part of me expected him to know better, you know? Drowning his competition in the moon by letting out the burnouts of them into our city is kind of a bad plan! <laughs> What is going on? I am calm. What is the damage thus far? Our spies report that your ex's forces are coming. Prefer to fact as my ex again, and I will send you to the flesh laboratoire. Excuse me, my lady. Oh. Either way, Vex forces are wholly absent from the gate, and the gate is closed off by some no doubt temporary means. But what's most surprising is, there is no demonic activity to speak of. What came out, uh. Monkai? Monkai? <laughs> Monkai, my lady. Monkey serving cows, I assume. No, just Monkai, my lady. There's a big gyrinx man, one with a big dumb chair. Oh, and Caldor Drago. Caldor Drago? Caldor Drago. Caldor Drago? Caldor Drago, my lady. But. Uh, but that does not make any sense. It is positively ludicrous, my lady. My reports yeah. say the vectors already apprehended these Monkai. One amongst their number is being brought to the stupid floating pyramid that is his headquarters. The rest are being sent to the Crucibale Arena. I am admittedly excited about them being set to fight in a match against the coming emissary. Now, as for our solution, if I may be so bold, I suggest you may that not leave me, Tariel. If I wanted the advice of parasites, I'd have sent for the Medusae. <sighs> Warm the engines of my writer and organize the cabal. 
I need some uh, me time. At once, my most frightening and highly replaceable lady. <laughs> so tell me, I'm going to investigate yourself, mon ami. <laughs> I have made special preparations for each possible variation of this event. Demonic incursion, enslaver swarm, even the possibility of a tyrannic invasion crossed my mind. But this does not make any sense at all. Mon keg is rosa gate. I mean, uh, that's arguably more manageable so long as King's Gate doesn't lead to their homeworld, but... Uh, <laughs> the ominous horns are not helping. Uh. <laughs> Stop, please, I am trying to think, and this is really impending the whole process. <laughs> right, uh, well, uh, I suppose I should lead the couple myself tonight. Uh. Vect is clearly planning something, and I am not one to let his plans go unhindered. We'll see what Kent Gate has unloaded into Komoraga with our very own eyes on Zen. <laughs> While his pack is done fiddling with his precious monkey, I will shop off his platters like a slice of bread and construct an intricate sewage system out of his still screaming remains. And then, Jeez. and then, I shall become the true supreme lady of Komarag. <laughs> This is just getting weirder and weirder. What is that? Who's this? <laughs> All right. Seems like you spun her plates real nicely, Tariel. Enlighten me, Jackal God. Oh, come on, Tariel. Don't be so formal. You can call me the Deceiver, like all my pals. Right. Why do you need her aid? What do you want with these humans? Ah, sure is quiet the galaxy nowadays, isn't it? <laughs> No. <laughs> nah, nah, I'm just pulling your pantyhose, babe. State of affairs is actually what amounts to a collection of rocks desperately clawing their inanimate ears out as the organic shriek machines are pulling them all straight down the end times pit. What? Shit is flying left, right, up, down. No one knows what the fuck is happening, but on and on and on they keep wailing their song of mutual destruction, heretic. Savage! Upstart! Lapdog! Let me eat your spine! Ah! Shut the fuck up, Tariel! You're part of the problem! S so well, wow, I'm sorry, I don't know why, but I was expecting something more comprehensible. What are you saying? I am not saying anything, I am screaming! Holy shit, volume, please. In the midst of this galactical shit cacophony that these spoiled, entitled planet spawns have wrung out. I am the only one screaming out against the fate this galaxy is encroaching upon. Listen, mime lady over there, ah, she's a treasure. And by treasure, I mean a giant resource of guns. A giant fountain of guns. Guns with the kind of firepower she could take out a supreme grandmaster of the Grey Knights in 20 seconds flat. Theoretically, at least, although I'm not entirely well versed in dark matter weaponry somehow. That is a very specific example. <laughs> yes, yeah. spot on, Tariel. Attentive and to the point as always. See, this is why I brought you and your little campaign into reality. You know, other than to attain a way to this edge fest of a harbor town. Y you know, you're saying a lot without saying much. Yeah. Uh, so you're planning on killing Cal? He cannot be allowed entrance to the Materium again! No way! It cannot happen! It would spell disaster for my galaxy, Tariel! His screams will overpower all! Do you hear me, Tariel? Listen here, you night-eared little shit! 
Caldor Drago must be stopped! What? And then. The fate of the Alpha Legion? Jeez, it took you this long to do this? 
Eh, sure. Kill me, Daddy! Perfect! Are we done yet? Man, this armor is really tight. Yes, companion, we are done. What? Cannon! The ship. Oh. So, that was the thing that happened. Why did it happen? These Please! spend their time working for us now. Why? We shall improve the state of the galaxy at large. How? That doesn't really explain anything. Are we no. going to Terra? Yes, we're going back to Terra now, you dreary little neonate. Very good, then. But what should we do with those two? Space Galaxy! I don't know, they're your jurisdiction now. I'm going to check on the engineering. Uh, so... You know when play Call of Duty? Yes. I yes. will do it. This is going to be a pain in the ass to edit. Oh my god, what the actual fuck just happened? You never know what's gonna pop out at the end. Fucking alpha, y your goddamn fucking shit. Ooh. Ooh, shut the f uh. I don't even. I got nothing. I there is nothing more I can say, do, or anything. Thanks for watching. You know who I am. I know who you are. I need a drink. I need the strongest drink in my arsenal. I can't take much more of it.